Hello and welcome. Now, do you know what these are? They come in different lengths and different colours, different thicknesses. They're Ethernet cables. And do you know what they all have in common? These little plugs. They're called RJ45 plugs. And they're the ones that connect you to your laptop, to a server, to a modem, etc. And they have a weak point. And the weak point is the little connecting tab, little connecting locking tab. What happens is, over time, they'll actually snap. Sometimes they could get jammed in the device and you'll give it a tug and break it. Now, you can replace them, as in you can replace the cable, but what if it's inside a wall or a floor or a ceiling, or it's in an inaccessible space? You can get someone in to do the work for you, or you could do it yourself. Now to do it yourself, you'll have to buy some of these little plugs. They're about five to 10 cents each. If you buy them in bulk, say maybe 20, 50, probably work out even less again. You can buy the crimping tool, which is less than a tenner, and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is the one with the broken locking pin. It's there, it's missing. And it needs to be replaced. Now it does work, it's just that it slides out and it won't lock down. So let's go replace it. And uh, the other thing, if you want to have a look at the, the pin configuration, there's eight little pins and over here, if you look at it from the front, make sure where the, the tab would be. Put it down so that you're, it's facing away from you. You can see it has eight little pins there. Now it's color coded as well. And going from the left, this is pin number one. And if you look at the color coding, there's two different ways to do it. As you can see from the picture, The first one is white and orange, and the second one is orange. So that's called the T568B configuration. Next we'll just cut the bad plug off. Throw that to one side. And what we need to do now is we need to go about one inch down so using a thumb, press down, mark it there, and that's about an inch. So with a blade, you want to cut down, and just cut the insulation off, but not so much that it's going to cut into the cable or the wiring. We don't want that to happen. So work your way around it. Pull the wiring off, or the insulation I should say, and you'll find that there's the different coloured wires are in here. There's eight wires in total, four pairs of wires. Now don't worry about the centrepiece, the centrepiece is just a separator, and we'll cut that out of there. Again, being careful not to cut the wires themselves. Now, next thing to do is to separate them. Straighten them up as best you can. And then we'll start setting them into the correct position. So, there we have it all straightened up near enough and again looking at the chart or the picture we see that number one is white and orange which is this one here followed by orange it's that one there followed by white and green this one here 
followed by blue. Followed by white and blue. Followed by green. Followed by white and brown. And followed by brown. So then you have them all next to each other. Again, keep them as straight as possible. And just make sure they're all in the correct position. And next now, we've they they not ideally they're not meant to be more than a half inch long when they go into the plug. So using a little finger from the edge of the insulation, just move back there and we worked out about a half inch there. And the, the nips across, keep it as straight as possible. And there we have the cables the way they're going to go into the plug. So try and keep them together. With the replacement plug again make sure that it's facing away from you and the pins are showing upwards. Place it in and try and work it into place. Again just check to make sure it's good and secure. Give it a little bit of twist here and there and just check your colours before we go and crimp it. Using the crimple tool that I got online for, it cost me less than a tenner. Just put it in and once it fits in it clicks and then press down, squeeze it together good and tight and we'll do it again a second time. And press the little locking tab down, lift it out, and we're all crimped. Now looking at the other end, it's exactly the same. So there's no reason why this shouldn't work and why it shouldn't lock into place. There you go. Another little RJ45 ready to go back to work. So if you liked that video, give us a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, subscribe and you can also find us on other social media platforms.